Hello and welcome to another positive travel guide from Charlie and Tabs and welcome to Krabi. We are in Thailand and we've got lots more videos on the channel now so don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We are here at the Venice Krabi Villa Resort. We arrived quite late and we were only staying here one day and because we arrived late we were transported to our overwater villas by a buggy instead of the traditional Thai gondola. This is a premium water villa and it's not as expensive as you might think. In fact it's really good value for money and we'll put more details of the website down below if you want to check out the rates and have a look for yourself. This room included bed and breakfast and whilst it is fairly late we didn't really get a chance to explore the resort but later in this video we will have a good look round. There are five different room categories here. There's the Lagoon Grand Deluxe Twin and the Double. There's also the Lagoon Grand Deluxe View which is on the second floor looking over the resort. There's the Premium Water Villa which is what we're staying in. There's a Jacuzzi Suite Water Villa and there's also the family suite water villa as well as it was quite late when we arrived here we really didn't get to enjoy this resort in its entirety which is a little bit sad really because it is such a fantastic place we were only staying here for one night and then staying somewhere else in Krabby, which we will bring you on another video soon if not already well, I was quite tired, so I decided to get my head down, but Tabs decided to head out and explore the Krabby Town. Each of the rooms in the resort come with a complimentary daily turndown service and a Thai goodnight snack. But all I got was Tabs knocking at my door at three o'clock in the morning, offering me some pizza. Uh, no thank you was my reply, I was far too tired. But here's the pizza anyway for your visual enjoyment. It does look good to be honest, I wish I'd had some now. And in the morning it's time to wake up and have a look out of the window. Have a look around this beautiful resort. It is a very big resort and there's all sorts going on and lots of activities that you can take part in here. In a moment, we're going to go down for breakfast. Now, it was a bit showery, uh, so it was a bit wet. But having said that, it was still extremely warm. So in actual fact, it was quite a welcome to have a little bit of rain. This resort is only five kilometres from Anang Beach. And there is a daily shuttle which takes you to the beach and back again. And the friendly staff in the resort will be able to provide you times. Obviously, if you don't want to do that and you want to get a grab or a taxi, it isn't expensive at all to get down to the town. If you do decide to walk, please do mind the roads because some of the roads can be quite narrow. Krabi International Airport is just 30 minutes away from the resort. It couldn't be more different, could it? The airport, the hustle bustle compared to this. This is a very romantic place as well. Especially with honeymooning couples. And Tabs is up early, but I'm not. There I am, peeping out of my curtains. But it is time to get up and go down to breakfast. This is all connected by these little bridges all around the resort. And these we're looking at there are another type of room at the hotel, which is the Lagoon grand deluxe rooms and the upstairs ones being the grand deluxe view rooms 
which again are very nice indeed. Breakfast was included at this resort, so why wouldn't we miss it? And the rain is coming down slightly there. We decided to sit on the undercover outside area. Like I say, it was still very warm, even though it had been raining. And let's have a look at some of the breakfast available. Different breads, pastries, little cakes, all sorts of different fruit juice. Fresh milk, fruit, cake and pastries. And we're sat here on this lovely floating veranda. And even though you can see it's been raining, it's still beautiful. And that's Tabs's breakfast. And spectacular views. You can actually hire a gondola here and go gondola dining. Uh, the resort will organise all that for you. That's part of one of the activities that they have here. You have lots of activities which we'll tell you about as well in a moment and they also have a children's corner with loads of things going on for children if you are here with children obviously this is very popular with couples because it is a very romantic spot and these are the gondolas which will take you to your rooms and here's the front of the resort, which we didn't get to capture last night. So we just want to show you it today in the daylight. And we're going to go in and have a look at the reception as well. Now, the staff here were really, really nice. There was a young guy there that was carrying all the bags around and a lovely lady behind the counter who was so pleasant. And the night before, we were checked in by a lady called Dada. And she was lovely as well. They were all nice. This is the smashing reception area. There's also a spa here, but that wasn't available when we were there. Uh, as well as the spa, there's also a jacuzzi and steam room, a V-Fit gym. And if you fancy something a bit more strenuous, you can do some Thai boxing classes. Talking of Thai boxing, we actually went to the International Krabby Thai Boxing while we were here and there will be a video on the channel soon, if not already. As well as the main restaurant that we went in before, there's also other dining options here. You can even go and dine on a gondola. You can learn how to fish and how to cook here. And there's a cafe at the swimming pool as well. And you can also choose in-room dining as well. Well, always be aware of your surroundings watch out for strange men that might be hanging around the bushes and back into the reception it looks like the sun is now coming out again They take sustainability very seriously here and they try and keep it as natural as possible so that people can come here and enjoy it without it really spoiling the landscape or the nature or the local ways. Everything here is built with locally sourced materials such as wood, bamboo and water reeds. And the overwater villas are a modern interpretation of the sea gypsy dwellings of yesteryear. 
After breakfast, we went back to our villas to prepare to go to the swimming pool, which really is worth seeing, and that's coming up in just a couple of moments' time. It won't surprise you to learn this is actually a five-star resort, and these overwater villas, there are actually 74 of these spread over the whole of the resort which is a very big resort with lots going on lots that we didn't even get to see other activities that can be arranged here include kayaking paddle boarding there's also the children's corner which we've mentioned before you can do the gondola picnic traditional thai boxing classes there's also a zip line here, which you can go and uh, have a go on. That wouldn't be for me, really. And you can also experience the rice fields and go and pick some rice and do some fishing. But for us, we've decided to head out to the swimming pool for a morning swim. And it really is a magnificent pool once you get there. And it's not far from where we were stopping, just around the corner from the pool. And here it is. And although it looks a bit chilly, it's actually a very warm day. And getting into the pool was quite easy. And it was really nice inside the pool. They have these water jets which we turned on and each of the room has bath towels as well as towels to take to the pool in your own pool bag. We've had a good look around the resort now and around this pool, so I think it's about time we got into the pool. In you go, Tabs. After the swim, we headed back to our rooms and there's a little creepy crawly crawling along. This is called Beryl the Centipede. I think it's a centipede anyway. And more nature on shore here. With the plants, the gardens, the water. Absolutely beautiful. Really enjoyed my little stay here. And there's Tabs's prayer mat, doing his daily ritual. And a final look around the apartment before checking out. There's the nightmare neighbor next door. I 
And there's a few images of me. And that just about wraps it up from this video. We'll see you soon for more videos and adventures from Charlie and Tabs. Bye for now.